Uh, when, okay, you know, we're talking about the South Carolina Bigfoot here, and we're t also talking about snakes in this area because snakes do get this. This is Anderson in County. In Let me just say, because we hadn't said it before, this South uh, Anderson County, South Carolina, is northwest South Carolina, but we are talking about snakes in this area because that can also affect Bigfoot. And we have there's feral snakes like pythons and anacondas that are loose in. And those pythons and anacondas are the ones loose in Florida, right? It, it loose in Florida, but and these are people that have had them as pets that no longer want to take care of them, so they let them go free. Right. You were saying you you thought that perhaps some of these got loose on their own. But Absolutely, they get loose on their own. And but I that happens too. I believe that to a degree. I think it's primarily though people set them free because they get too big. A lot of people have seen people in the city of Los Angeles or in New York. Sometimes people are out with snakes around their neck. It might be like a python that's three feet long. Something like that, and they just have it around their neck. But that sna that snake has a potential to get twenty feet long. So what do they do when it becomes unruly? Somebody has an anaconda, a small anaconda, or a small python around the, around their neck, but they can get to what twenty feet or more, and yeah, the things crushing you in your living room. Yeah, well, it's, it's not only that, but they have to have a place to keep them. So so do you just put it in the, in a room, and those things can easily uh, swallow a goat. Yeah, they can swallow bigger animals, but but but. They can take charge of you pretty easily. I mean, they can just you know wrap well, themselves. It's a, it's a, if you've ever dealt with snakes, and I have, believe me, and they are strong. How have you? When have you dealt with solid snakes? Solid piece of muscle, rattlesnakes. Okay, yeah, big, they, bloodthirsty, unruly rattlesnakes. I mean, you can't hardly kill them. Yeah, and now imagine a snake that's that much bigger. You'd have to almost chop off its head. Even then, there's been animals without heads that have kept. You know, living. Yeah, exactly. In fact, I've seen a video of snake with its head cut off, and this and it looks this head just looks as live as, as it always has. Yeah, I mean, come on. How do you? Uh, what do you do? I mean, you have to kill these things. But that's becoming more and more of a problem. These feral snakes. Well, it's and becoming it's, a problem because people are irresponsible. I want to I want to start uh, getting some photographs or uh, or some video of, of those because and maybe some trips down to Florida because that is something that's cryptozoology well, you, related. Yeah, but you know you really got to go with somebody that knows what they're doing. Got to go with these professionals out there. You can't just go out there on your own. It's not safe. 